are here for and you're in luck I'm gonna tell you um, I love one of my favorite techniques is a cloud pour so for, for some of you that are new it might be new to you but for some of us that have been around for a while um, it's not new it's not a new technique I first saw the cloud pour from Melly D and Elise Fournier now, they did it a little bit different. They used deco art satin enamel in their cloud mix. Now, the very first one, of course, I did. I used that, but it's kind of expensive. You got a little container. I don't even know if I have one around. A little container, it's like eight ounces. It's like 10 to $12. So I thought I would find, I wanted to find a cheaper substitute. So I was at Home Depot or Lowe's. I can't even remember. I think this might be Home Depot. Um, product and it was bare satin enamel paint and primer in one and I bought this small jar and I think it was about 10 ish dollars for this whole thing and this is a quart container um now of course I do so many that I ended up buying a gallon a gallon was only 35 dollars 34 something um so for me it's good because I do a lot of cloud pours but anyway so I got this and I tried it and it worked beautifully. I will show you one of my first ones that I did um, with the, the satin enamel. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, um, but you can see the nice clouds. This was during my rainbow series I did several years ago. Um, so that's that one. Now that one has, a, has varnish on it, so it was a little shinier, but um, it worked out great. Now, I have since tweaked my recipe and started to substitute the um, uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with the Vallejo Pearl Medium. So, it's these products right here. So, let me show you my most recent video where I used this recipe um, and you can see how beautiful those clouds are it's amazing now I've done a couple videos using it with really really good results so if you miss those go check uh, those videos out um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you I'm gonna mix I'm gonna do my mix all right because last time I did it I showed you I did I use this huge cup because I make large amounts so I'm gonna break it down into a smaller amounts for you and um, then we can learn you can learn how I do my mix for my cloud effect all right let me get my gloves on here here we go so I'm going to just show you really quick the container so this is the flow trawl that I use it's just American flow trawl all right now one thing with about the with the flow trawl if you're new is it needs to be strained, okay? So I usually strain, like this is my container with strained Floetrol, and I just use a metal, I think I got it at the dollar store, strainer. Um, now, one thing too, if you strain it and it's been in there for a while, I recommend straining it again. This one I actually just strained last night, so it should be good to go, because you get little lumps in there from it sitting around, so always give it a good shake as well. All right, so there's my Floetrol. And then I've taken my um, bare satin enamel. I put it in a different jug because, again, I have it in a huge gallon jug. It's hard to pour out of there every time. And then my Vallejo Pearl Medium. And then I also add some Golden GAC 800. All right, so here's my cup. I've got a stir stick, and I am going to be working with a tablespoon. So when I say a part... For me, right now, it's a tablespoon, okay? But one part can be any amount. So you can use an ounce. You can use um, a teaspoon. It just depends on what you're using, okay? That's your part. So again, I'm using a tablespoon. 
All right, so I'm going to start with, um, let me get my caps open here really, really quick, maybe. <laughs> and also water. I have a jug that I always just keep. This is just filtered water I use. Now, you don't necessarily need filtered water, but if you're using well water, I would suggest distilled or a filtered water. Uh, just because of the um, like minerals and stuff that are in the, the well water. All right, so I'm going to start really first with the um, uh, satin enamel, okay? And I am going to put two parts of the satin enamel. Maybe, there we go. <laughs> Okay, and it doesn't have to be exact. That's one thing with acrylic print. It doesn't have to be exact, at least for me. And a lot of times I don't even measure when I'm mixing my paints. Um, but I do, I do, you know, have a recipe for my cloud mix. So, okay, so there's that. And now I am going to put in the, um, the pearl medium. And that is one part of the pearl medium. So, so far we've got two parts of the bare satin enamel and one part of the um, Vallejo. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir, kind of get that, you know, started to be mixed. Okay, so we got that. You can see it's it's not too bad, but it's still too thick, definitely. All right, so now we've got the flow trowel. And I'm going to go with one. Okay. Two. Okay, so two parts flow trowel. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, give that a little bit of a stir. Okay, now with the, the GAC 800, the golden, I, for this small of amount, I just give a generous squeeze, okay? It's just a generous squeeze there. Now when I'm making larger amounts, um, you know, then you'll put, a, obviously, a, a little bit more. So for this, it's just a generous squeeze. You can see that it's starting to th uh, thin pretty good. So I don't think I need much water for this. So I'm just going to start out, and I always measure with a cap. I also use another good thing to have are pipettes. They work really, really great um, as well. So I'm going to start out with just a half of a cap full of water. That's about a half, maybe a little bit more than a half. Yeah, okay, so that's about a half of a cap full. And I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up there, okay? And you can see that it's the consistency there. It just runs right off the stick into, I don't know if you can see really that, um, but it runs off the stick into a mound and it disappears very quickly. So that's, that's that. That is super easy. And again, I'll go over it really quick again. So we've got two parts. I'll just show you the bottles. Two parts of the satin enamel. Um, moved all my stuff. <laughs> and one part Vallejo Pearl Medium, two parts Floetrol, and a generous squeeze of the Golden, and then just a touch of water. Now the water, again, can be up to you as far as, because um, again, everybody's consistent, the consistency for everybody is, is different. Um, but for me, this is what works. So I only put a half a cap full of that, okay? So it's like a half a part. So a half a part of, of water. 
maybe, yeah, a half a part of water. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get set up and show you how this works. All right. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay, guys, I am all set and ready. I've got a 12 by 12 canvas and I've got my spouted cup that I will be using today. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is my spouted cup that I designed myself and it's available in my Etsy shop. I have different ones as well. I have a split cup, a triple and a quad. I also have these available in a 10 ounce size too. All right, so all that being said, we're gonna get to the colors here and I'm, I've got um, Thalo Blue from Amsterdam. I've got, ooh, almost dropped that one. I've got um, Pink from The Fine Touch and Quinacridone Magenta from Liquitex Basics. And then I mixed two purples. I've got Dioxazine Purple and then Prism Violet. I mixed those two together. And then, of course, I've got my Cloud Mix. Um, now, what I did was what I just mixed had air bubbles. So I took my mix from before and it's the same mix um, and then just put a little bit in this cup because I can't pour out of that big container. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And I'm gonna pour from the spout side down because that's the way I pour back out. So that's the way I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with the blue first. I seem to start with blue a lot and that gives them those Nice, pretty clouds, and then my cloud mix is next. And all of these regular colors that I'm using are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is uh, Floetrol, or excuse me, um, well, it does have Floetrol, um, Liquitex pouring medium, uh, Floetrol and water. And that is, uh, let's see, 50 percent Liquitex pouring medium, sometimes I have to think a second, and 40 percent uh, Floetrol, and then 10 percent water, and I always mix it up in a big jug because I use it, you know, a lot, so I always have a big jug of it handy, and uh, then I just mix my paints that way, so it's easier for me. All right, so I'm just going to continue to fill up my cup here until I get to the notch. There's a notch right at the bottom of the spout and that is the 10 ounce mark. So that's how I know that I've gotten up to the six, you know, the six ounces. If you go, if you go any more, then sometimes it tends to be too full and then it's wanting to just like come too fast out of the spout. So I tend to not um, go too much farther than that. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and I should be right, right up there. I kind of made a mess of my canvas. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn it now. And here we go. And you can see that there's nothing dripping down the front that's old paint, because um, I tend to be a little slow at um, <laughs> washing. It's best to wash as quickly as possible because that material, any of the 3D printed stuff, the material does tend to stain. So, all right, there we go. I'm just, I always spin it like this until I get a feel for how, which way I want to go. And you can see that those little clouds are starting to open. That also kind of helps it too. I am 
loving this new stuff, guys. If you guys are having trouble with your cloud pours, um, I'm telling you, this mix works amazing. This is gorgeous. All right, guys, here we go with the dried photos and look at how pretty that is. Those clouds look amazing. If you guys are having trouble getting clouds, go ahead and give my mix a try. It works so good. The Vallejo Pearl Medium, I forgot to mention, I think, is available through Blick. I do have a link in my description, so you could check that out. Also, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, so leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in any of my acrylic pouring tools, I do have the link to my Etsy shop in my description as well. And I have a bunch more videos that I know you will love, and I will catch you in the next one.